Adobe Premiere Pro vs. CapCut might sound like an unfair fight, kind of like comparing a heavyweight champion to an amateur on the rise, but that's exactly why this is such an interesting matchup. If you've ever felt overwhelmed by editing software, or you've wondered if you really need to pay for something like Adobe Premiere Pro when CapCut exists for free, you're not alone. This video will break down the real pros and cons of both, without the fluff, so you know exactly which one's actually worth using. And trust me, stick around to the end, because I'm going to share something most people completely overlook when comparing these two editors, and it can save you hours of frustration later. Also, if you're leaning toward Premiere Pro, I've got a full step-by-step -step beginner tutorial linked in the description to help you get started fast. So let's talk Adobe Premiere Pro first. It's the industry standard for a reason. Editors in Hollywood, YouTubers with millions of subs, and even some Netflix productions run on Premiere Pro. It's powerful, deep, and incredibly flexible. You can customize almost everything, and once you really get into it, there's almost nothing you can't do. But here's the thing no one really talks about. That power comes with a price, not just the monthly subscription fee, but the learning curve. It's not the kind of app you just open and start editing with zero effort. It's a beast. That said, once you get the hang of it, it starts to feel like you're in control of a full editing studio. That's the magic of Adobe Premiere Pro. It might feel overwhelming at first, but it grows with you. If you're serious about content creation, it won't hold you back. Now CapCut. It started as a mobile app, and yeah, a lot of people still think of it as something just for TikTok or short-form videos. But the desktop version has come a long way. CapCut today is surprisingly feature-rich. It's fast, intuitive, and way more powerful than people give it credit for. You've got auto-captioning, built-in transitions, templates, effects. It's honestly impressive for a free tool. And that's the key word here, free. If you're just getting started or you don't want to commit to a monthly payment, CapCut feels like a no-brainer. But here's where it gets tricky. While CapCut makes things really easy at first, it can feel a little limited if you want to go deeper. Things like advanced keyframing, color grading, audio mixing, or even just super precise timeline control. Those are areas where Adobe Premiere Pro starts to pull ahead. There's also something about the interface in CapCut that feels just a little too template-wise sometimes. Like yeah, it's fun to drag and drop cool effects, but if you're trying to build your own unique editing style, it might start to feel a little boxed in. That's not to say you can't make amazing videos with CapCut, you absolutely can. But if you're growing fast or planning to make editing part of your job or business, that's when Premiere Pro starts to look more like an investment than a cost. Still, it's not black and white. Some creators actually use both. They'll do quick social clips in CapCut and more complex edits in Premiere Pro. It doesn't have to be one or the other, but if you're trying to choose just one, it really comes down to how far you want to go with your editing. If you just want clean, fast edits without diving too deep into technical stuff, CapCut can easily get the job done. But if you want full control, if you're editing longer content, or if you care about having a setup that scales with you, Adobe Premiere Pro is hard to beat. Also, one thing a lot of people forget to factor in is export quality and file handling. CapCut sometimes compresses your videos more than you'd like, and that can matter if you're uploading in 4K or doing professional work. Premiere Pro gives you full control over every single export setting, which sounds minor, but if you've ever had a great-looking video get ruined by compression, you know how frustrating it can be. So, is Adobe Premiere Pro really worth the price when CapCut is free? That's the big question. And honestly, it depends on what you want out of your editing. If you're in it just for fun, or you need something fast and simple, CapCut is honestly amazing for what it is. But if you're serious about content creation, or you want to grow into a pro-level editor, Adobe Premiere Pro is still the king. It's not perfect, and yeah, the subscription model sucks, but the power it gives you is next level once you tap into it. Don't forget, the full Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial for beginners is linked in the description if you're ready to jump in. It walks you through everything step by step, so you don't get stuck or overwhelmed. But if you're still on the fence, maybe try both for a few projects. Just make sure to keep that long-term vision in mind, because the last thing you want is to build a workflow around something that holds you back later.